Hey YouTube, here today with a new jailbreaking video on how to jailbreak your iPod or iPhone um, on iOS 4, which is the 4.0 firmware. Thankfully, I took a lot of time for you guys to research how to jailbreak it. Finally found a good website for the Red Snow Beta, and it actually works. Yeah. Just to prove to you that I've already jailbroken and that it works. First off, just to say, second gen does not allow you to multitask. So, as you can see, or have the background yet. So, as you can see, multitasking in there. And all the way at the end, you can see Cydia. So, I do have jailbroken, and it's all nice and cool. What I want you to do now, what I want you to do is go down to the bottom, download the uh, WinRAR file that I have for you that contains everything you need to jailbreak except for the firmware <laughs> but I'll get to that soon I want you to open it go to the folder close I don't care about that and then open this file Meg uh, multi -upload .com. it contain I have the websites for you just copy and paste it for the iPod touch second gen iPod touch third gen those are the only two iPods that it work on anyway, so that's all you needed anyway. And the iPhone 3G and the iPhone 3GS, the only two iPhones that it works, except for the third one, the iPhone 4, but it comes with it. So, uh, the iPhone 4 jailbreak coming out later. Um, so, once you copy and paste the website that you need to your internet browser, download the file, and please save the file somewhere where you would remember. Either customize it, something like that. So next, click on the red snow file right there. As it opens, it should say browse. Okay, so once you click browse, now you're gonna look for the firmware. I have mine safely on my desktop. As you can see, it's right there too. Yeah. It should say processing firmware. This could take from anywhere to about 10 seconds to about a minute that took about 20 I guess or less than that way less than that you have an MC model here comes the big thing I do not have an MC model I have an MB model so I don't really care but MC model I forget what happens to MC model because I haven't done red snow in such a long time but um do I recommend it not really can you do it go ahead it's not my problem if you break your iPod it's your fault you did it not me so I'm not responsible. Um, no, I do not have it. So then, the next button appears, and you can click on it now. All right, what I want you to do now: get your iPod, plug it in. Get your iPod, plug it in. Just now plug it in. As you can hear, my iPod and my computer like did the weird thing. Now, turn it off. This is just getting you ahead for the uh, next part that comes after this. Now, I want you to choose what you want. If you have a custom boot logo that you made yourself or whatever, or you, or you want a different Apple sign or whatever, go ahead, click it. You just gotta find it and whatnot. Enable multitasking, highly recommended. Enable home screen wallpaper, highly recommended. Enable battery percentage, I haven't tried that out yet, so, but I'm guessing it's highly recommended. And yes, Insidia is super highly recommended, just in case you didn't know. Let's go over to click. Oh, wait. Next. Uh, cool. I'd click next. Now it says make sure your device is both off and plugged in. See, we already did that. We're ahead of the game. Now, I want you to grab your iPod or iPhone or whatever you have. Better readjust the computer. I mean the uh, screen. And this as you can you can see my nice man right there. My webcam. It's all nice and cool. Alright. So now that my man is up and running almost I gotta adjust his feet. Click next. 
I want you to have your finger already on the power button before you click next. Like just don't press it down, just hold it. Now hold it for three seconds. Turn it on. Hold both of them at the same time now for ten seconds. Eight, nine, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Release the home button. Just press the power button for thirty seconds, but it usually only lasts for about ten seconds because DFU mode. See that that was seven seconds and it's already in DFU mode. Warnings, um, Red Snow has, um, since I've been trying to upload this video for about a couple days now, it has crashed on this part right here, and it will freeze your iPod, but all you have to do is hold it on the power button, it's right there, hold it on the power button, and uh, you're fine, and just try it again, and again, and again, until it works, because it eventually works. The first time I used this version of Red Snow, it crashed, and as you can see, I have Cydia, because I probably did it two more times. So, RAM disk. Keep on going and going. It's almost there. It's almost to the end. One more square. And it's done. Not really. Now it's uploading the kernel, which goes a lot faster than RAM disk. And I'm pretty sure this is the last uploading process. Rebooting. Now it's done. The rest of this process will take place on your device. So I'll just keep, keep the webcam on my iPad and, and just check it. As you can see, the nice spinny wheel at the bottom is right there. Keep on spinning. And you see something. You're pretty much done with your computer now. You don't really need it. I'm going to keep your, my uh, webcam on the spinning disc while I watch TV. Alright, now the pineapple's up. Pineapple from, I believe, Quick Pro, and I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure I wasn't, I wasn't there back then. I wasn't with the iPod jailbreaking system back then. I probably joined the iPod jailbreaking system when 3.1.2 came out, which was perfect timing for Black Moon. Some of them shipped today, so if you got your iPhone 4, cool for you. Maybe you can jailbreak it with the Red Snow. Maybe you can jailbreak with the Red Snow beta. I don't know. Maybe. Just maybe. And it's just about done there. No, it stopped. Okay, now it's rebooting. Rebooting's good. You should see your custom boot logo if you chose the custom boot logo. I'm gonna make a custom boot logo now, just just for fun. Find a cool one. Um, it's gonna be the snow breeze sign. That'll be cool. And um, yeah. All right, there we go. There goes my computer. There goes my iPod. Plugged it in. I'm gonna unplug it now because I don't feel like going through all the hassle again. There we go. And check it out. Official jailbroken iPod second gen. Or with you or for you guys, some of you guys for the iPod third gen or for some of you other guys, iPhone 3G or iPhone 3GS. Officially jailbroken. As you can see, it has the wallpaper in the back. And Cydia. If I'm gonna tell you now, if you did have um winter board before and you had custom background like mine was a Lamborghini, um, you have to go to settings, um, wallpaper, and it'll show what it'll look like on your lock screen and what it'll look like on the background. Click that, wallpaper, find your own wallpaper, I'm just going to change it just to show you, say set, and then set as both, or maybe you just want a different one for your lock screen, let's say, and voila, now I have the earth as my, um, so thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe. Especially comment and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Peace.